Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, we're doing a soft glam look. Soft glam is trending again. Well, it was never not trending, but now y'all like it. Like, y'all really like it. So, your girl's here. Soft glam queen is here with the in-depth, with the real, okay? So this video is a little lengthy, but it's very informative and very detailed. So before we move on, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe, okay? Because it helps me, it helps you, we just help each other, and keep watching. Cavalier. All right, guys, so I have on this um, Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Mask, and I've had that on for about 15 minutes now, and I'm just taking it off. As you can see, my skin is hydrated. And when you use sheet masks, all you do is, well, most sheet masks, I don't know if you have to rinse them off, but most times it's just like a serum, and you're just going to rub that in to your skin. Let me just leave these in the front. I also want to show you guys that even with problem skin, blemished skin, you can still get the look that you want. <laughs> as far as, um, you know, the whole soft glam look, it doesn't have to, it's not hard to achieve, I promise you. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I do want to go with a softer brow, so I'm going to be going with my Makeup Revolution Warm Brown um, pencil. You guys have seen me use this plenty of times. and. Um, just for the tail, because I want the tail to be a little bit darker, uh, or not even darker, more defined, I'm going to use Mocha by Morphe. And as you guys can see, I'm doing my brow different than I normally do. Um, I'm kind of filling it in. And doing hair like strokes and I'm just going upwards this is a light this is a warm brown so it's literally filling in my brow ever so lightly and giving it a nice fluffy look so I'm actually doing that before I define the brow you guys know normally I shape the brow first but we're doing different things you guys soft glams can be done however you like or whatever works for you but you know this is my interpretation of that so now I'm taking the Morphe pencil and I'm just defining really the bottom of my brow because I feel like that's what gives you that like look. But I'm still using a very light hand because I don't want to go overboard because we are going to be using concealer and I feel like the concealer defines your brow more than enough. And to be 100% honest with you guys, typically with a soft glam like this, I would start off with my skin first, then do my brows, then do my eyes. But I just don't want to confuse people because I know a lot of people are really uncomfortable with doing their, their um, brows last. Um, honestly, for this kind of look, it makes the most sense because... This, the focus of this look is the skin. So, but you don't want to do too much because you don't want to overdo it. Remember, soft glam, okay? So now I'm just cleaning up my brow. I'm using my Too Faced concealer. I mix the shades Butterscotch and Chestnut to make the shade that I would like. And I'm just gonna clean up my brows how I normally do. All right, guys, so that's my brows. As you can see, you don't have to do too much when filling it in because concealer literally, like, is that girl. It makes your eyebrows pop. All right, so I'm going to go on to my eyes. You guys, this is going to be a simple look, but it might not be. Let me stop talking. <laughs> so I'm just taking that same concealer. I had some extra on the back of my hand, and I'm just lightly concealing my eyes. 
this look is going to be very blown out very effortless i'm going to try not to overthink it because i i tend to do that a lot so let us pray so now i'm going to be taking a translucent powder and i'm going to be using the rcma powder to set my eyes because this is the only translucent powder that i have <laughs> and i'm just going to use that to set my oh crap I'm going to be using this to set my eyes because I don't want to put my colors on, my eyeshadow colors, and my eyes, my eyes start to oxidize. You want this to be really soft. I don't want it to be too smoky. I don't want it to be too um, pigmented, but I still want it to make a statement, you know? So for today's look, I think I'm going to be going back to my Desi Katie palette only because like these colors have exactly what I need in them. They have the browns, the taupes, the shimmers. This is just a perfect soft glam palette in my opinion. So I'm going to be going in with this shade. This is the lighter brown in the palette. And I'm taking my Morphe M505 brush and I'm just going to blend that through the crease. And I actually love this palette. You guys know that. I just haven't used it in a while because I feel, well, on camera in a while because I feel like I was just overdoing it. <laughs> but I love this palette so much. So as you can see, when you lay that down after setting it, it just blends out a lot better. It doesn't like stick. It's not too concentrated. It is perfect. So I'm just taking that and I'm just blending that out. And I'm keeping it more rounded. So I'm going to be taking this transition shade and like as I'm blending, dragging it down towards my nose so that it's giving me an instant nose job. It's giving me that like grungy but soft look. It's not overtaking the look, but it's still making a statement. So now I'm going to be using my Mocha Mommy bronzer and I'm going to continue to blend downwards towards my the bridge of my nose. But the bronzer is going to give it a... Um, a more like a warmer look you guys know I typically don't use mocha mommy on my nose but because I'm gonna be putting foundation on and this is a part of the eye look it is gonna work I saw someone on Twitter say that um, putting bronzers like blending out the edges of your eyeshadow your contour your nose bronzers your best friend when doing a soft glam which typically I do use bronzers but I'm really just taking that to my advantage I'm trying to take every tip and trick that I learned to achieve this look. So now I'm just going in with a fluffy brush. It's clean, doesn't have anything on it. It's by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of that. And before I move on, I'm actually gonna take, what the heck? I'm actually gonna take my um, Fenty highlighter and I'm gonna use the shade Afternoon Snack. And I'm going to apply that right under the bridge of the bridge, right under my brow bone. So I'm not going to drag it down. I'm literally leaving it right there because when the light hits, it's just going to give me this look. And I just think that we need that look. I didn't use the other side because it has more glitter in it. And I want my brow highlight to be more of a sheen. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just applying, a fl I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply it so that it's kind of diffused out. So now I'm taking my Morphe M330 brush and I'm gonna take the darker brown out of this palette and I'm just gonna put that directly in my crease just to give me some depth. And I'm gonna blend more like up, if that makes sense, because I just want it to stay on that outer edge of my eye. And I'm just taking that fluffy brush again and blending the two together. And I'm making sure my edges are super diffused because I don't want it to be too sharp and too perfect. And if you know me, you know it's killing me because I really, really want to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. But again, we want this to be really soft and diffused. So I'm going to be taking this shade. It's like the um, darker light matte and I'm going to dip it a little bit in here. So I'm just going to go back and forth because this one really doesn't show up that much on my lid but this one will give it a little pop so I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and I feel like applying it with the fluffy brush just kind of gives you more control and just gives it a softer look like look how effortlessly 
that is blending onto my onto my eyes and my skin what is my skin but you know so now I'm gonna be taking that matte shade and putting it more so in my inner corner just to really open my eyes um, I haven't really been feeling shimmer shades in my inner corner I think mattes are more flattering on me and in general I think mattes just pop a little bit more so I'm applying that now just to kind of map out what I'm doing but I know I'm gonna have to apply that later on this is just this is so easy I thought I was gonna have a hard time but so far we in there so I'm actually not gonna be doing a liquid liner today I'm gonna be using a pencil liner wish me luck I think first just to guide me I'm gonna take that dark brown from the palette and an angle brush this is actually my brow brush and let me get up close I'm just gonna apply that to the lash line that's cute and I don't have a brown eyeliner Unfortunately, I apologize. I had one, but I don't know where it is and I don't feel like looking for it. I'm just gonna apply that through the lash line. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Like, it literally doesn't have to be perfect. I really like that. That's cute. So I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit so that it's not so like, there now just to smoke that out just a little bit i'm gonna take my pencil liner the black one and i'm just gonna run that across my lash line towards the end i'm not gonna take it in all the way because i don't want this to get out of hand because you know how we do and do you guys see already how instantly that just shaped my eye it's just so effortless and like it's just crazy how like the smallest things make such a huge difference. Now that I've laid down that black, I'm going back in with that dark brown from the palette and I'm just going to diffuse it a little bit more because you don't want anything to be too harsh. And that looks so bomb, you guys. Like I don't know what's coming up on camera, but baby in person. Look, I love a soft glam, but I've never like done it correctly on myself like I've never given myself this kind of look like the brown liners and stuff like y'all know Tasha would have put on a wing liner and called it a day all right so yeah that was my eyes for now it's actually really simple I just really wanted to explain everything to you in depth I feel like sometimes I, I don't rush through things but I just be like they know what I'm talking about but like I really wanted you guys to understand what I was doing and now it's time to prep the skin a lot of Big makeup artists or professional makeup artists do not prep the skin because they say that, you know, or I don't even want to say pro makeup artists. I would say more so celebrity makeup artists. They don't prep the skin because they're like, the foundation lays better, blah, 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 which is true. But most models, celebrities, all that have like flawless skin. So of course it's laying down flawlessly and you're gonna be there with them to touch them up. Primers are meant to help with the longevity, help to fill in any pores, and we're regular people over here, okay? So we need primers, we need setting sprays, we need all of that, all of that. So I'm gonna be prepping my skin. As you guys know, I already did the mask, and now I'm just taking my moisturizer. This is by Pixi, it's the Phenomenal Gel, and I'm just using a little bit because a little of this goes a long way, and it makes your skin super hydrated. I prefer to prep my skin after I've done my brows and my eyes simply because when I'm doing my brows, if my skin is too like slippery, it won't stick. And then when I'm doing my eyes, I get fallout and I wipe it away. That means that I just wiped away everything that I was supposed to do. So yeah. Now I'm going to be going in with my eye cream by Olay Hankerson. Hope I said that right again for the hundredth time. <laughs> I've yet to find out how to say it. But um, this is the eye brightening cream and I'm just you know prepping my skin accordingly um, I really don't know how I feel about this again but an eye cream works if you guys don't want to spend this much on an eye cream it is kind of pricey it's like $40 um, what is it called soap and glory has an amazing eye cream and it's affordable I mean it's like $18 but it's cheaper than that Next, I'm going to be going in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer. 
And you guys, I love this stuff. Like, I literally could, like, bathe in this. And you don't want to forget the neck either when you're doing that. You don't want to neglect the back. So now that we've just quenched the skin, hydrated it, it looks a lot more youthful. I can tell instantly that everything's just going to glide on perfectly and I'm not going to have any problems. So now I'm going to go on with the Tatcha Skin, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And this one is like a putty kind of um, primer. So this one will fill in any pores that you have. It has more of a tug to it when you're putting it on. Like this one is like really like, you know, it does kind of have a little grip to it but overall it has a very smooth feel so your skin your foundation is just going to glide over this but a primer like this is going to help um fill in any pores i have a lot on my forehead like i don't know what's going on it's like they open and close i know pores don't literally open and close but it's like they open and close but anyway so i do it somewhere like that so that i can just fill those pores in And then I'll do it like on my nose area. All right, so now I'm gonna be going in with foundation. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place foundation. Hear me out, okay? <laughs> I know everybody thinks like, oh, soft glam, light coverage. I was gonna use something with light coverage, but I wasn't gonna get the look that I want. Soft glam is full coverage, period, okay? So I'm gonna be using this foundation in the shade 300. I hope that this works. I had 230B, let me see. So I'm putting this on, it seems to be a match because I've had a problem with matching Juvia's Place foundation. Like 230 is too olivey and then I got, then I got 320 and it's too red. So hopefully 300 is that girl. So anyways, as you can see, this is super full coverage. So we're just gonna go in. So I'm gonna go between my Wet n Wild sponge and this BH stippling brush, all right? Oh, that's a way better match. Yes, ma'am. And by the way, this is all the foundation that I've used. Using this brush is helping me like evenly distribute it without using too much because, you know, sometimes I know I can get a little carried away with the foundation. Like I can do full coverage without looking crazy. I can, and we're doing this today. So that is one layer of the foundation. And as you can see, it matches. I like it. It may not look like it matches head on because I do pull a little bit more yellow but it matches my chest and I'm going to be highlighting so I prefer to go like a shade darker when I do my foundation because I do highlight and all that so that's just another pro tip if you can go a shade darker because when you highlight and stuff because we're going to go in with concealer you want to make sure that you still have some color to you. All right, so I'm just blending the rest of that out, making sure that it's even, everything is covered. And I love this shade. I should've got this shade a long time ago, you guys. Like, this shade is literally dead on. And I love it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. This is gonna be my go-to. And a little bit goes a long way. I was like straying away from this foundation because I was like, it's just a little too full coverage but literally you need the smallest amount and you're good. You guys saw me swiping it on and it was perfect. And I actually did not use the um, brush because that was just extra. I thought it was gonna be extra, but no. So I'm gonna be going in with two concealers. I'm gonna be going in with the um, Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced in the shade Chai, if I didn't say that already. And I'm actually gonna be concealing. So this is different from highlighting. You actually were focusing on the skin. So we're getting rid of any discoloration and any of that. So I'm putting that under my eyes and around my mouth because that's where, you know, I got a little bit of darkness happening. And doing that um, prevents me from going overboard with my highlight concealer because I already have coverage. So when I apply my highlight, 
it's in moderation. So now I'm gonna be going in with Butterscotch by Born This Way. And I'm gonna highlight. Now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Sable by Too Faced and I'm gonna contour. I bring my contour up higher than my jawline is just to make my face look more, you know, cinched. So this is what I would normally contour, like right here. You guys can even see it, that dip. But I'm gonna go on top and that's gonna give you the illusion of higher cheekbones. All right, so now that everything's blended out, we wanna set everything, make sure everything's in place. I'm gonna actually be going in with the Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Deep. This is shade number 30. Um, it's brightening, but it's still that skin tone color. You guys know I've been loving that versus like a yellow. But um, I'm just gonna take that and press it underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna press that before I press it in because I wanna prevent any creasing. And I love this powder, you guys. Like, I was shooketh. This powder literally has your face sitting, okay? And for $5, I think so. I just would prefer to press it in. And just, do you guys see that? Like, my face. Y'all, y'all, y'all. And as I was doing a little bit of research, um, a lot of makeup artists are like, you know, soft glam kings and queens. We're saying to use a translucent powder to set your whole face versus a pressed powder. And you guys know I love to go in with my pressed powder, but I'm gonna be going in with my Too Faced Born This Way um, setting powder. Um, it's really good. I know a lot of makeup artists actually use a translucent powder like a Laura Mercier, but I'm not gonna play myself. I am brown, I am melanin infused, so I'm using something with color in it, all right? And you always want to set that foundation before laying down your bronzer or anything simply because if you just go ahead and start blending that bronzer on your face, it's going to start skipping, it's going to start lifting up your foundation. And we don't want that. We want our base to be flawless, sitting, <laughs> okay? So now I'm going to be taking Coco Naughty um, just to bronze up the face. I'm going to use a little bit of Mocha Mommy too. Because, you know, like, whenever I think soft glam, I think the cheeks are, like, really just, like, saturated with color, but blended out beautifully. So, I'm using the Morphe 523 brush. I know you guys are going to ask. You guys always do. And that's what I'm using for my bronzer. And as you can see, it's coming alive. a little too harsh just go ahead and blend that out with your powder brush you don't have to add any product just kind of diffuse that I'm just gonna clean up this underneath my contour or bronzer or whatever just so that it's sharp but I didn't want to like cut it too much because that's when it just starts to look I just don't like it I prefer to do like a reverse contour okay so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm going in with my ColourPop blush in the shade drop of a hat i am going to use this because i'm not going to be highlighting my face and i feel like this gives me a little bit of color let me swatch it can you guys see that it gives me a little bit of color and a sheen at the same time so it's kind of like the best of both worlds typically when i see soft glams unless it's a super glowy look i do not see overly highlighted skin i think we're past that phase some of us so i'm just gonna take that and apply to my cheeks i'm using that same stippling brush from earlier that I was supposed to use and I'm just applying that. I am gonna take that, let me dust it away. I am gonna take that Fenty highlighter in the shade Mo Honey and apply that to my nose. I apply it to the bridge of my nose, I mean the tip of my nose and then the bridge of my nose. 
kind of like a little exclamation point because it makes your nose look a little bit more lifted. And I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Setting Spray. I'm just gonna let that soak into my skin. I'm just taking my eyeliner and I'm gonna go on my waterline. <laughs> And I'm going back into that palette and I'm gonna take the dark brown in there with this pencil brush and just smoke that out. I'm gonna take that light brown with the fluffy brush. I know this is kind of big, but we're going for that blown out look. And I'm just gonna really just diffuse that. Take some mascara. I'm gonna put a lot on my bottom mask on my bottom mascara, on my bottom lash line, a little on the top, and then we'll be back to do lashes. Alright, so I'm not a wispy girl. I'm not gonna act like one, <laughs> but I do. I do have these lashes by IMB. They're the Glam 07 lashes, so they kind of look like this, and that kind of they look like this, and they kind of flare out at the end. So what I'm gonna do is because I want my eyes to remain more open, I'm gonna cut the inner of it and have the lash start like right here versus right here. All right, and I'm gonna apply these off camera because. I need some time and I'll be back. So before my camera rudely interrupted, I um, used my e.l.f. brow gel and it just made my brows a little bit fluffier. I'm using NYX Dark Brown. I haven't been using Espresso like I always do because I feel like it just is a little bit too red. It's too warm. So this is what I've been using. And I'm going in with my ABH nude lipstick. So oh, at this point, you can leave the lip nude if you wanted to. Um, I mean, nude, duh. You can leave it matte if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm feeling like a glossy chick today. So I'm going to be going in with I'm going to be going in with my Morphe gloss in the shade. Boohoo, boho, why do I always do that? Boho. And I'm gonna top that off. You guys know this is like my go to lip, like always and forever. And now I'm feeling like a soft glam goddess. All right guys, so that pretty much completes today's look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was informative. I love how my face looks. I think from now on, like like I said, I know how to do stuff, but I just be doing what I want to do. I'm going to start following my own rules because this soft glam, like I just took some pictures and they are fire. My face is sitting. When I say sitting, I mean sitting, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!